I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. This is another paid request. This time from Jim the Movie Geek. Has a YouTube channel. Nice guy. And he wanted me to review Rio Bravo from 1959. And I'll be honest, I had heard of the film. I was a bit unsure on watching the film because it's about two and a half hours long. And honestly, it's because I had reviewed and seen a film called Rio Lobo with John Wayne, which is kind of a remake of this film and I really did not like Rio Lobo. Rio Lobo I thought was boring. John Wayne was just too old for the part. Didn't care for much of the actors involved. I'm like okay there's gonna be like the same plot. But I really enjoyed this movie. I was pleasantly surprised by this film. I know it gets a lot of praise but to, I don't give a fuck if a film gets praise. I liked it, I liked it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. There are films that you praise I love. There's films that you praise I hate. That goes with every single fucking person out there. There are films that you praise that you hate. And there are films that you hate that you love. I guarantee there is. But this one I did enjoy. Uh, for a number of reasons. I thought that the, the cast was a much better than what they were later doing in Rio Lobo. Uh, John Wayne... He has more energy because he's younger. And for example, because the plot's pretty much the same. Him and these other guys, they pick up this guy who murdered someone. They put him in jail. There's others that want to get him out of jail. So John Wayne and some deputies are watching over this guy, waiting for these other people to come by and keep and watch amongst this town so that no one tries to get this guy out of jail. And even an ending where John Wayne's buddy is kidnapped, they want to make a trade, the trade goes up shit creek, involving dynamite and scaring the bad guys, making them surrender. But again, casting and the way these guys interact with each other made this work so much better. Like I said, John Wayne, when he needs to be tough, it is, he's younger in this, so he's more vibrant. And also, when he's talking to the... Oh, I forgot her name. Was it Angie Dickinson? This lady is kind of a hooker with a heart of gold. It's the best way to describe her. And just how John Wayne just gets so exasperated with her. I'm not mad. Oh, you make anybody mad. I don't know, just the way he interacted with her is very different from the way he interacts with other people. And that made it almost endearing. And Okay, that's why this possible romance will work. And sh she was rather good, too. Dean Martin, who plays this deputy named Dude. He used to be a deputy, deputy but now he's a drunk. And he's taunted by everybody. And he's looked down upon. 
And there's even at the beginning, people throw money at this a thing that people spit their tobacco in, and Demar's ready to get it, and John Wayne tits it away as if to say, "What the fuck are you doing?" And you really see this escalation of Dean Martin grabbing his, not just courage, but his respectability, his ability to not be humiliated anymore, to not let life bring him down. You see him go from a drunkard to becoming a man again. I thought Dean Martin did a really good job with it. He was really solid. I was rather impressed with Dean Martin. Um, you have this younger guy, Ricky Nelson, who was more of a senior. I mean, he was a senior at the time. He was there for, I guess, the younger gals. Apparently, Elvis Presley was going to do it. But then, stupid Colonel Parker... Wanted too much money? I'm sure Elvis was pissed off about that. Should have fired Colonel Parker then and there. But that actually would have been fun. John Wayne, D. Martin, and Elvis Presley? I kind of wish that would have happened. That would have been really cool to see. But Ricky Nelson doesn't have too much lines for, for good reason. And he's there when he says his lines. He's there. I mean, he's definitely weaker. But he's... As his new kid in Colorado, he's he's all right. <clears throat> the music at times did bother me, in particular the beginning. Like for example, at the beginning of the film, bad guys grab Dean Martin, and Dean Martin's getting punched, and each time he gets punched, there's like a musical high note. Do, do, ba -da, ba -da. I, that was, I thought, a bit goofy. Because I, I think a lot of the film, I don't want to say, it's, I don't want to say timeless. That's the wrong word, but could work in like in a weird way. That part of the music dated it the most. I know that doesn't make sense, but that that's the thing that that felt dated to me was the way that music was used. I don't. I just. Thankfully, they don't do that a lot throughout the rest of the movie, but I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't really care for that. But I mean, they showcase Dean Martin's character. He's dual with a gun, shoots a gun out of a guy's hand. Uh, Walter Brennan as Stumpy, who's also Dean Martin and John Wayne's ally. He's a guy holding this guy prisoner, prisoner played by Claude Aikens. And Walter Brennan, if you hear his voice. You definitely know there's been a lot of people that tried to mimic that voice. Oh, golly gosh. I'm... I don't even know if I can really redo his voice. But I, I rather liked it. I rather... It... Oh, he don't need no sugar. His coffee just water poured over old grounds. Sugar? Should I... You know, I don't... He, 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 he don't need no sugar. I can't do it, man. But I will... He was kind of known for doing that particular type of voice. I think he was in Treasure of the Sierra Madre. I could be wrong on that. But, uh... Like I said, these guys really worked well together and how they gave each other shit through a lot of it. What, you think you invented the Hanover? And you was seeing this drunk get his redemption... John Wayne just seems much more lively here than he does in Real Lobo. Like, Grant's probably his double, but John Wayne's character busts into a barn after a friend of his has been shot in the middle of the street. And then, Dean, Dean Moore and John Wayne worked rather well together. You think you're good enough? I'd like to find out. Yeah, so would I. And like they, they're trying to find the killer of this guy and they go to this bar and D. Martin's looking, he's down himself. And then he notices something and it's a drink. Well, imagine a drink. And he sees blood dripping down into it. Okay. And he turns 
Like, I'm like, that's pretty badass. And yeah, I, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and I did not feel the, the running time. Because I was enjoying the way these guys were working with each other. And there's, it's not a, it's not a wall to wall action movie, but yeah, it felt like more lively version than what I saw in fucking real Lobo. I went, I guess I wasn't the only person that disliked Rio Lobo. A lot of other people did. I'm like, this was a much better version of that. And it made me go, like, if they did such a good job here, why did they try to remake it over and over again? Because John Wayne and the director, I think, also remade it with a film called El Dorado. And then they did Rio Lobo. Why? Like, why? Like, it works very well in this. Why did they try to keep doing it? I mean, maybe because it was successful. I know one of the reasons this film got made is because John Wayne and the director absolutely hated High Noon. Just like, oh, well, that sheriff, he had to ask people for help, and at the end, he even had a lady help him. And I don't really agree with their sentiments as to why High Noon is bad. It's just, I guess it's just they like the more old-fashioned Western. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I I probably would say I don't really care for their politics, but I don't know. I still like the movie quite a bit, for whatever reason it got made. Although if I want to watch High Noon, I would just watch Outland with Sean Connery, which I fucking love. My favorite Sean Connery film. My favorite Sean Connery movie is Outland. Love it. High Noon in Space is what it is. And then John Wayne does show Tacey's a badass. You want that gun? Pick it up. I wish you would. <laughs> and again, he even works well with the the lady played by Angie Dickinson. Where she was doing this stuff and now she's going to go to bed. And John Wayne's like, you can't go to bed now. What do you mean I can't? The stage leaves in an hour. Why didn't you tell me? I just did. <laughs> Or, for example, in order to piss off Walter Brennan, John Wayne's about ready to leave. He turns, he does a kiss on uh, Walter Brennan's head and then hijacks out of there before he... Actually, no, he takes a broom and smacks John Wayne in the ass before he leaves. As a, you motherfucker, you... See, that's what I mean. This type of stuff I'm describing, this type of stuff I'm talking about, it's what I like, it's what I prefer, it's what I appreciated. I really did appreciate what they did with it. I truly did. And so, like I said, I I did rather like this movie. I, I liked even the ending. I just felt more dynamic with the dynamite and explosions getting bigger and bigger. And John Wayne telling Walter Bryan, throw farther. Well, why don't you throw it? No, just, oh man, do you go again? You're never satisfied. Just throw it. And then D. Martin shooting, but he shoots twice, and John Wayne's like, it took you two. <laughs> so again, it's the way these three give each other shit, they make fun of each other, they work with each other, and the way John Wayne works with Andy Dickinson. Again, just the, the characters, the way the dialogue was made and, and, and delivered, it, it did feel like a bigger movie than Rio Lobo. I even didn't mind the, the little music scene where Dean Martin is singing the song and then Ricky Nelson singing as they're waiting for something to happen. I even didn't mind that moment. But uh, yeah, I really rather enjoyed Rio Bravo. So again, when people say that I don't like a film that's long and slow, well, you just say this is a slow movie and you just say this is a long movie. It's a two hour, 20 minute movie. And it does build the story, but it did it well. And granted, that's in the eye of the beholder. I thought this did it very well because he had a, a good set of actors. Uh, well, other than Ricky, Ricky Nelson was there. He he was there, just to. The, he was all right. But John Wayne, Dean Moore, and Walter Brennan were really good actors. The characters really 
mm-hmm. worked well with each other, and I it was. I thought the director did a better job here than later during Real Lobo. Even when John Wayne D. Martin go into the, the bar at one point, and then the way the director has the camera, so it's looking down on our ter- on our leads, and you see, like, over here, the bad guy hiding. So we, the audience, know where he's at, and we see sort of his point of view. So now, then we set the stage of, will our leads figure that out or not? I did, even the bit where D. Martin turns and he knows there's this blood dripping down into the, the beer. And I, I, yeah, I like that little little moment. I didn't D. Martin's sort of graduation from being a drunk to his redemption. I thought that was rather nice. I said D. Martin did a really good job with that. And I, I rather enjoy Real Bravo. I would put it up there as in my favorite westerns category. I'm not the biggest Western guy, but there are Westerns, you know, Young Guns I love. I love, you know, Fistful of Dollars. I love the, you know, I really enjoy these movies. I really enjoy, uh, love so much the damn DVD fell out. Because I have the DVD as well as the Blu-ray in there. Just to keep them in the same bit. But, uh, let's see, other Westerns. There, there's some... High Place Drifter I enjoy. But yeah, I, I got a kick out of this. So. I was rather surprised. I was rather surprised. I'm like, oh god. Tis a real Lobo. Because I have bad memories of real Lobo. I'm like, oh fuck. But I'm like, this is a much better version. Much better version of it. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.